Follow these steps to get your new FreeZone console freeze dryer ready for use. Upon delivery, thoroughly inspect the FreeZone packaging to ensure that damage didn't occur during shipping. Don't discard the carton and packaging material until you've successfully installed and tested your freeze dryer. You can pause the video on this image for a quick reference of the parts list. The list may be slightly different for some models, so please cross-reference with your user's manual. If the FreeZone's condenser is colder than negative 50 degrees, or it's an 18 liter, your parts list should include a baffle. Larger accessories may come with a separate manual and parts list as well. Carefully remove the protective film covering acrylic lids. Let's connect your vacuum pump. Use a vacuum pump that can accept the 3 quarter inch ID vacuum hose provided and that has the same electrical requirements as the console. Remove the front left stainless steel panel and the lower rear panel from the freeze dryer. Before connecting the vacuum pump, make certain the oil is at the proper level. Place the vacuum pump inside the console freeze dryer. If using a vacuum pump with oil, position the pump so that the oil sight glass can be seen from the viewing window in the front panel. Use the hose clamps provided to attach one end of the vacuum hose to the port inside the free zone. Connect the other end to the inlet port of the vacuum pump. If necessary, cut the hose to allow for a gentle bend without kinks. Plug the vacuum pump into the outlet located on your free zone so that your freeze dryer can control the vacuum level. 230 volt models have reverse IEC receptacles for attaching the vacuum pump power cord. Turn your vacuum pump on. Some pumps do not have a power switch and are always on when power is supplied. An oil mist exhaust filter should be installed on your rotary vane vacuum pump to minimize oil mist exiting the pump. An oil return kit can be used with the exhaust filter to return trapped oil from the filter back to the pump. Attach your drain tube to the drain fitting. The drain fitting is only inserted when draining the collector. To establish vacuum, disconnect the drain tube fitting. Now reinstall the front and rear panels. Move your free zone to the location where it will be used. Ensure the installation site is level and of solid construction with access to the proper electrical source. The final location should allow a minimum of three inches between the back and both sides of the freeze dryer and adjacent wall surfaces. Now let's install the baffle. The baffle is shipped with six and 12 liter negative 84 degree free zones and 18 liter free zones. The baffle is designed to evenly distribute collected ice over the entire collector coil. Positioning the baffle properly ensures maximum ice loading capability. For the two piece six and 12 liter baffle, align the one and three quarter inch hole in the rear channel of the baffle with the one and a half inch vacuum port in the sidewall of the collector chamber. Place the baffle into the collector chamber. The cylinder should be concentrically centered with the collector chamber. For the 18 liter baffle, position the baffle so that the arrow points directly toward the front. To connect drying accessories directly above the collector, you'll need a collector lid with a hole, sold separately. When attaching drying accessories, it's important to ensure the gaskets, collars, and pins are installed as directed. This ensures low vacuum levels can be reached for lyophilization. To install a 12 or 16 port drying chamber, place a gasket over the three inch port on the top of the free zone. Center the drying chamber on the gasket over the three inch port. Inside the drying chamber, Place the stainless steel spacer over the three inch port. After the drying chamber is installed, 
Here's how the latching pin will be inserted through the holes of the 3 inch port. Insert the latching pin into the collar, leading with the short end of the latching pin from the inside of the port. Feed the longer end of the latching pin into the hole on the other side of the port. Push the pin through the port until the bend of the latching pin is in the middle of the hole. Do not push the pin in all the way. Turn the pin so the assembly is latched. Installation of your drying chamber with ports is now complete. To install a 4 or 8 port manifold, peel the protective coating from the acrylic spacer. Place a gasket, followed by a spacer, and another gasket over the 3 inch port on the free zone. Secure the manifold with a saddle bracket and screw in the thumb screws. Installation of your FreeZone console freeze dryer is now complete. To learn more about your FreeZone console freeze dryer, visit labconco.com.